morning everyone! I'm Andrea and this is Virtual Baby Time. I miss seeing all of your babies and the parents and grandparents and nannies and baby time on Thursdays. Um, but I'm very happy to be doing this Virtual Baby Time with you. This is Bear, who's going to help me demonstrate. So if you have your baby in your lap, you can bounce and rhyme with us. We're going to start with our Hi, Hello, and How Are You song, and it goes like this. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? I hope you're all well at home. While we're clapping, let's do another clapping song. Get your hands ready to clap, babies. Make your hands go clap, 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 clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 my sweet baby. I bet they like that. Babies love repetition and they learn from repetition, so let's do it again. Hands ready to clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 my sweet baby. Hooray! Good job! Next we're going to try a bouncing rhyme. Get your baby ready to bounce. You might want to face your baby to you so you can watch their face and enjoy it together. Here we go. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. A bouncy mouse was in the house. She's been here for a week. She bounces in the kitchen. She bounces in the den. She bounces in the living room. Whoops! There she goes again. That's boing, boing, squeak. Let's try it again. Try to, to chant it along with me. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. A bouncy mouse is in the house. She's been here for a week. She bounces in the kitchen, she bounces in the den, she bounces in the living room. Whoops, there she goes again. <laughs> Good job. Here is a fun tickle rhyme. Now, only do this if your baby enjoys being tickled, and you know if they do. You can draw a circle on baby's belly or on baby's palm, like this. We'll do it a couple of times. It's called Roundabout Wee Mousy. Round about, round about, wee mousy. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. You can also do it on baby's hand, like this. On the palm of the hand, draw a circle, then creep your fingers up and do a little tickle, a gentle tickle. Let's do it again. Round about, round about, wee mousy. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. <laughs> okay, our next rhyme is a favorite in baby time called Cuckoo Clock. And it involves some counting and some lifting on your grown-up's lap. I'm going to have my baby face me. Here we go. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock, stop. What time is it? It's one o'clock. Cuckoo. Let's do two o'clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock, stop. What time is it? It's two o'clock. Cuckoo. Shall we go for three? Let's do it. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, stop. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. I hope your babies like that one. All right, next we're gonna try a, a peekaboo song. Why don't you sit right there, Bear? If you have a scarf or a napkin or a piece of fabric, you can play peekaboo with it. Or you could just use your hands if you don't have one with you right now. 
and it goes like this. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek-a-boo. Shall we do it again? Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek-a-boo. And that's our peek-a-boo song. Next, another scarf song we like to do in baby time is Jack in the Box. Can you bunch up your scarf grown-ups in your fist? Your scarf or your fabric or your napkin into your scarf and say, Jack in the box sits so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. Babies love that surprise. Let's do it again. Ready, Bear? Jack in the box sits so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. <laughs> Now we've been learning some sign language in baby time to help our babies communicate with us. Babies as young as six months can learn to sign and communicate their needs to you, which can relieve a lot of frustration for you and for them. Two of the signs that we've learned are milk, which is squeezing your fist like this, milk, milk. And another sign that we all learned together was more. Pinch your fingers together tap them at the tips more. And I uh, made up a little song to help the grown-ups remember and it goes like this. I love it when I drink my milk, drink my milk, drink my milk. I love it when I drink my milk, may I have some more. But if you sign these when you say them, um, while you're giving milk, while you're asking them if they want more, after a few weeks or months, your baby will start signing them back to you to let you know what they need. It's very, very helpful. We'll do some more signs next week. Um, we're going to do a shaker song. Do you have a shaker in your house? I brought a yellow shaker from the library. Can you shake your shakers up? Good. Bigger babies can do it themselves. Grown-ups can do it for their babies. Let's do our shaker chant. Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them on your shoulders. Shake them on your head. Shake them on your knees and tuck them into bed. Was that fun? Should we try it again? Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them on your shoulders, shake them on your head. Shake them on your knees and tuck them into bed. Good night, shakers. Okay, let's put our shakers aside. Bear, Bear, you're going to sit right here. And we're going to sing a lullaby before we sing our goodbye song. And this one is called Yo Te Amo, which means I love you in Spanish. And what's lovely about this song is you can sing Yo Te Amo, or you can sing I love you, or you can insert how you say I love you in your home language. And it goes like this. Yo Te Amo, Yo Te Amo, time we like to call out other ways uh, we say I love you and, and sing those and we've sung I love you in Swahili and Polish and Portuguese and so many other languages um, so maybe next week we'll sing it in another language before we go we sing the more we get together 
And uh, I always like to say it's important for caregivers and parents to get together because this parenting gig is hard and it really requires support from your community, from your neighbors, from your family, from your friends. Um, so it's so important to get together. And um, right now, I think it's so great that we're getting together virtually. So it's still important for us to get together in a safe way. So here we go, the more we get together. Okay, let's sing it together. Here we go, the more comment on what rhymes and songs you want to hear next week in baby time. And again, this is Andrea, and stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!